Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a smooth circle transition in After Effects. I'm the half-blood prince. And I think. So first go ahead and create a new solid layer and you can set it to any colour you like but I'm going to choose this royal blue colour and then click OK. Go to the frame where you want your animation to start and create a new circle mask by holding shift and dragging. Then toggle proportional grid so this makes it easier to align our circle to the centre. So once we have it aligned to the centre, expand this and create a new mask expansion keyframe and drag this value until you can no longer see your circle. Once you've done that, you can cut this clip and remove this bit and then go to the frame where your second clip starts and create a new mask expansion keyframe to fill up the whole screen. Then you can go to the frame where you want your animation to end, which for me is this, key this frame, and cut up the excess bit and pre-comp this layer. Make sure you have these two properties selected and click OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and repeat this process, create a new mask, center it, and then create a mask expansion keyframe as we did before. And now go to this frame, right before the end of your pre-comp, and make this fill the whole screen again. Then select this box that says inverted, and toggle motion blur for, for both these clips. Now once you play it, your circle transition should look like this. If you want to improve it, you can go ahead and create keyframe graph, so easy ease the keyframes, and then drag this handle up like this, and then open up the pre-comp, and do the same thing for these ones. Now your transition should look like this. Anything. I'm just going to move these keyframes a bit to the right. So first go ahead and search circle transition preset and drag this on. I'll leave a link in the description to download this and it should turn your circle transition from something like this into something like this. If we want to improve it further, we can go ahead and drag on a whoosh sound effect. I'll, I'll also leave this link in the description. And try and match this up with the transition. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. If this tutorial helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.